In this video we are going to look at uh, learning how to group objects together and then we'll learn how to copy and paste using what are called hotkeys, so control C and control V. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a cylinder, uh, sorry our end goal is going to be we're going to make a, a castle um, really really quickly. So I'm going to put 5 as my radius for these. And I'm going to go 25 for my height just so we get a good shape there. Place it anywhere you want. Then I'm going to, to get a cone. I'm going to keep my radius as it is. I'm going to, or sorry, I'm going to change my radius to 5 and keep my height as it is. And you're going to try to place it as well as you can on top of it. Notice I had to zoom in to get it more precise. So there's going to be one of my side sort of towers of my castle, my very primitive castle. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, show you the group feature. So to group things together, you have to highlight. So I just start left clicking and I have to highlight the whole thing. Then you this pops up down here. Um, sometimes it gives you the features you want. Sometimes it doesn't. So in this case, it does not. So I'm going to go up to here, um, the grouping feature, push group, or you could do control G if you want. I don't um, remember that hot key though. So I, I've already got them highlighted, so it says click on solids. Well, I've already done that. So I just click on, I can re-click on them if I want, and then push enter. Now they're grouped together. What that will mean is when I go to move them, now they move as one. So that's the first step. Now the second step is going to be, I'm going to rotate my view just a little bit so to help myself out. I'm going to copy and paste this because I don't want to remake that shape four times. I just want to make it once. So I just highlight it. Now I go control C, nothing shows up. Control V, all of a sudden it says, well, do you want to move this? So as soon as you start moving it, it's going to make a replica of it. So there's going to be my one or my extra um, side to it. Oops, I did not click enter to finish that off. So that's actually a good lesson right there. Sometimes you learn lots by making mistakes. So control C, control V, you have to move it where you want it, and then hit enter. That locks it in, then it knows that you're done doing that. So I've got those two done. Now I'm gonna click on this, and I'm going to control C, control V. Move it, doesn't really matter how far you move it, as long as you move it the same, so enter. So I moved it 50. Now I'm gonna grab onto this one. Notice I'm doing lots of rotating. You get lots of practice there. Control C. Control V. Just try to remember what you did. You moved it 50 for that one. So we're going to move it 50 again. You could also type in uh, 50 in there if you want. Enter. Now notice I've got my four um, sort of sides done. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the walls. However, this is going to be a little bit more tricky. So I'm going to take a box. I'm going to um, change the length of it to be a little bit more skinny. So I'm going to go 10. My width is the one that's going to make it longer, which is kind of strange, but I'm going to go 50. That will work for me. And I'll leave my height as 20. That'll be fine. So then I click, that locks it in. So now you see I've got one wall done. And again, I don't want to redo this wall again. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go Control C, Control V. I'm going to move it backwards 50. That should put it where it needs to be. Oh, it looks like 51 will be where it needs to be. And you're just kind of eyeballing this to make it. Oh no, 50 was good. Enter. So now I've got that wall done. Now to make the other wall, I'm going to do Control C and Control V. I'm going to rotate it first. And then I'm going to move it in two directions. So I move it a certain amount that way. It looks like 25 probably is what I moved it. No, 26. That'll work. And then I'm going to go up. And we're going to see how much I need to move it. So I'm going to rotate this again. It just takes some practice. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. And maybe I like that actually at 25 as it was. There. Again, this is a very quick castle. This is not something that, um, you know, it doesn't take us very long. We're not being too precise. So again, one more time, Control-C, Control-V. 
rotate 90 degrees move it about 25 and about probably 25 that way and we'll see what it looks like looks pretty good to me so there's my basic castle that I've made and it really didn't take me too long about five minutes to make that it would have taken way longer if I would have had to go and create each shape and place them on there so that that control C and control V is gonna save you some time now if I want to put this all together as one group highlight the whole thing go up to grouping you've already highlighted it so push enter now you're gonna be able to move the whole thing at once. Now it's probably gonna lag your computer a little bit because it's gonna it's a larger object, but now you've got that as one group um, and there's your, your base of a, a castle.